SEC Saturdays begin on a beautiful day in the bluegrass. Danny Jones standing near the goal line for Toledo. And he's coming out. And Jones has a seam down the sideline pushed out by McKinnis. At Mitchell Guadani gives it up to Kentucky transfer Bryant Kobach. Started his downs for the Rockets next year, last year. Guadani's in trouble. And he gets to the sideline. It'll be the pocket and pushing Guadani to his right. Plenty of time. Deep ball. Wide open and caught inside the 20 by Danzel McKinley Lewis. The coverage. Dives for 44. Fake to Kobach. End zone incomplete. McKinley Lewis covered up there. It's second down. Here's the Rockets offense with Jason Candle in his fourth season. To do much work after that big explosive play in the passing game. Option toss to Kobach, meeting his former teammates at the 15-yard line. It's third down, tackled by DeAndre Square. Here's Square and the rest of his teammates lining up next to Cash Daniel, the team captain. Well, Cash Daniel, a bunch of new faces in that secondary other than Jordan Griffin at safety. Third and eight. Madani surveys underneath throw, and it's a good one for a first down inside the 10 near the... Make a simple throw on a rollout. Kobachs to the edge, to the end zone. Touchdown. Faces at receiver, but McKinley Lewis, the veteran, coming up big with that explosive on the opening possession. Evan Davis, McKinley Lewis, who laid out for 44 yards to put the Rockets in position. And then a man that started his career on this field, Bryant Kobach. On the second snap, Kentucky on offense earlier. Got to get going on coming out offense. Hand off to A.J. Rose, two yards deep in his end zone. Breaking tackles what Benny Snell was so good at. And Rose gets right near the first down marker. There's Toledo's defense led by Jamal Hines, who's already off their own goal line. As you see with that yellow line, just one yard shy of the first down. And Rose is tackled in the backfield this time as it's a loss, Saeed Holt. Watch these second down runners. Now watch Saeed Holt. He's just going to take a free run, shoot the gap. As soon as he saw. Wilson, middle of the field, first down completion up to the 25 yard. Getting Wilson through a strike. Nice protection that time. Terry, quick throw to Bowden. First time he's touched the football this season, and he takes about three or four tacklers up near the 30 yard line. One knows the offense better than number one. Picked up six there at second and four. Second down, you got a runner at quarterback in an empty backfield. Instead, throws high, and that's the first ever catch in college for Ahmad Wagner. Score as having made a reception and a weapon they're expecting to really evolve. Bowden going in motion instead, straight up the gut to Rose, and A.J. gets going past the 40-yard line. And Kentucky Ripping off early in this contest. Looked to be in quite a bit of pain. So now it's Cavassier smoke in the game, fake to him, and on second and three, catch is made by the tight end. This is third and short. It's smoke in the wildcat, and smoke is short. That's right here, he's just gonna run this play down from behind. Clearly point of attack on the backside. Fourth down and a yard to go, smoke in the wildcat, first down, Kentucky. They've gone three seasons in a row, 2,000 yards rushing, 2,000 yards receiving. Option tossed to Smoke, and he's past the original line of scrimmage to mid Christopher Rodriguez, the redshirt freshman from McDonough, Georgia, standing behind Bowden, taking the carry into Toledo territory, and he's free inside the 30-yard line. Never. This is reminiscent of Benny Snell from a build standpoint. Build those short choppy check steps. Quick game. Wilson takes off. And he's near the 20 yard line. Marked because FSU and Boise State are playing now due to that hurricane. Terry Wilson to the end zone. Incomplete. And there comes the flag. 
Ahmad Wagner. Well, Kentucky fans will remember in the Missouri game and an and easy call to catch. That's incredibly efficient play at wide receiver. 13th play of the drive on a first and goal, but first the whistle. Offside on the defense, number 54. Half the distance to the goal, it remains first down. Wilson to Rodriguez near the goal line to the one yard line and they'll walk all the way back to where this drive started as it's the end of the first quarter. We've done something. Rodriguez in the Wildcat straight ahead to the goal line lost the football recovered by the Cats in the end zone and that's a touchdown for Justin. Well, I don't want to score the first touchdown of the season. Although I'm not sure he hadn't already broken the plane. I don't know that he did. The ball was in his right arm as he was kind of. That is his first career touchdown for Rick, if in fact it stands. I think they are looking at Landon Young and we'll see if this is a better look at it. See Jamal Hines crashing in from defensive end. Live ball carrier. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. So that's the answer you're looking for offensively. Chance for to tie it up. And we are knotted at seven, just five. In stat line early in this game. Go back, motions out of the backfield. And Guadani takes off and is wrapped up in the back. Load him down on Kentucky Lake either as a bass fisherman for the Cats. Second and 17, it's Kobach riding the defense back into Kentucky territory as DeAndre Square got him to the ground. Guadani facing pressure, escapes. First down run, sliding right before the 20 yard line. Guadani earlier and his ability to make plays. This time the pressure comes right up the middle. Getting some running back help to keep him off his quarterback, but regardless, a big pickup at quarterback as a chip, not only as a passer, but also opportunistic with his legs. Keeps it, takes it out of Kobach's belly, and runs all the way to the end zone. Job reading the defense, sucks in. The Kentucky defenders, you see everybody sink towards the middle of the defense, even at the second level. One of the things, secondary level, especially at safety, you have to know where that football is. And don't get in the route tree. 29 yard pickup. Wilson delivered the perfect throw, and now Rose gets the edge inside the 15. It's first and goal, Kentucky. Need to capture the edge by Rose. Good job at right tackle by Darian Kennard. Number six open field can pick up the big yardage runs. 22 yard pickup for AJ, spotted just outside the 10. Back to him, straight up the middle, this time diving towards the end zone. Touchdown. Running behind big Logan Stenberg at the left side. If the ball break the plane, his hand can be down. His elbow cannot. I don't know how you can overturn that. His elbow. Those pylons, what an effort from Rose. And now poor to tie it back up. 14 apiece with just over six minutes. Stuff. He has been a factor, though. No doubt. He punts at 54 yards or longer. Kobach, a former Kentucky Wildcat, coughs it up. It's Calvin Taylor diving on the ball, and it is. Might be Josh Pascal. Why don't you come in here, number four. See him right there? Rake that ball out of his former teammate, Bryant Kobach. You see the. Wilson all day. Throwing to Bowden, makes the catch, 
but out of bounds. U.S. Open. Wow, what a catch, but yes, the looks toe like a toe. of that foot, yep. That's a great catch. Out of bounds. That left toe. Do you see it right there? I mean, it's. Wilson. No place to go and will lose a few yards. Bumped into a couple of rockets in the. Third and 13. This could be no man's land for Kentucky. Might have two downs to get a first. Wilson. All day. Underneath throw, up inside the 30-yard line, down to the 29, Georgia. And Toledo was the best in the country at blocking kicks last year. This one hooks in, and Kentucky has on the, dog on on the, the promo. promo. Yeah, yeah. No, McElroy and Spears get plenty of face time. We need at least a, a picture of... Alyssa, now, Florida State and Boise State early kick today because of that hurricane coming through the Sunshine State. Terry Wilson on the keeper this time is up to the 38-yard line. He's done a great job collapsing in. And just one of seven on this down today. Taking a deep shot, incomplete, and here it comes. Anytime you throw to Wagner, there's laundry on the field. And Kevin here in the in the booth, do you want to really send them on a wild goose chase? Who in the history of college football have gotten five flags on their first game today? Make his first career catch today, and this time it's the tight end, Keaton Upshaw, running free through the middle of that rocket deep. place to go is going to lose a couple of yards there's so much talk about replacing Snell and replacing Allen what about replacing CJ Conrad get those guys to contribute in the manner that they need it tied in for this offense to work well second and 12 after a two yard loss from Rose Wilson deep ball touchdown that's Bryce Oliver fighting with defenders 32 yards but he's able to go up and make a play for his quarterback. First catch of his career is a taken for Russell Westbrook all the time. Well, he's making big moments just like Russ here in Lexington. Trying to start the season with a victory, but they are in a dogfight right now. The Toledo Rockets as Terry. Wilson from the edge of his goal line has plenty of time, lost this one deep. And he overshoots a. So watch Ali come all the way across. See number six. He's wide open right here. Watch this ball. It just sails right over it. Boys, Kentucky struggled on this down. But they get it this time. Allen Daly moved. Perimeter, but this time Daly with a clutch reception. Ken Wilson has great protection here. And your run game was rocking and rolling, which it hasn't necessarily been consistent. That's when you're handing the football off with a little more frequency. And here, instead of handing it to Rose, Wilson shows off his own legs. That's part of the reason why the Wildcats have struggled to convert on those thirds. We are in his third and five, and Bowden somehow makes the catch. Game for the Rockets' defense. But you've got one of your best receivers, easily your best receiver, working against a guy in space that isn't necessarily that comfortable, their star position. And the handoff this time around the edge and near the goal line. Touchdown! It's Cavassier Smoke for 40 yards. Seen this play a time or two. Your right guard's going to pull around. You're going to get a lead block from your tight end. Smoke sends up bouncing this thing out. And why not capture the edge that cleanly? Good job by Keaton Upshaw. He ends up just being an escort. Smoke taking it to the house, showing some of his speed. Pulls up, makes a 50 50 ball, turn into a 100% big play for the Wildcats. Cavassier. Second and three, Bradley in the trap 
traffic intercepted. That's DeAndre Square picking off the pass from Bradley. What a play. Starting center, Luke Derger, no Bryce Harris. That's 11 tackles, one and a half tackles for loss, and now a pick for DeAndre Square. We asked the coaches yesterday, no Jordan Jones. A couple of years ago, led the conference in tackles. You worried about your Will Lyman? Oh, this is a freshman last year, made his first career start in the Citrus Bowl. And today, back on offense, Wagner now is... Jukes a couple of men. And more important for coaches. Knows what everyone is doing at all times. Second and one. Straight ahead. Inside the 10 for AJ. A great playmaker out wide in the slot. Tuck trying to put this one away. Wilson incomplete looking for Rig, and here comes the flag. In zone, that time targeted to move the ball down to the two. Rose is met near the line of scrimmage outside the two by Dadar. Wilson to Ali. He made that catch. Touchdown. Then misses Ali on a crossing route. This time, it's effectively a screen. Great job by Ali. Looking that ball all the run. Officials are going to stop this as Toledo's calling timeout. Charge of the staff, timeout, Toledo. That is their final charge timeout of the court. Of course, still an opportunity. Sure looks like he, as you said, Stench controlled it all the way through. Yeah, that's, this is, you know, this is Toledo, I think, saying, look, we might as well. Let's let them take a good long look at this thing. Make sure you're happy with the touch. Sellout two weeks from today. As Wilson takes a big hit. And he is. And Terry Wilson's got to have that clock running in his head. It's not going to be clean forever. I wondered if we might see Sawyer Smith in this game. The transfer from Troy, a three touchdown lead now for Kentucky, but it's still, it's still Wilson out there, and it's Rodriguez fumbling the football. It's picked up by Deontay Johnson, and Toledo gets. And Rodriguez giving the ball up. It was Daniel Bolden for the Rockets. We ends up getting this ball out. You see, once again, just raking it out. You can see it. It was out clear. He's done an excellent job. Not the case here today with two fumbles. Bradley throws into traffic. He's lucky that that one was not picked off. Seen him with a couple of nice pass breakups. This is his third one. This one should have been an intercept. The third and one. Jones has the first down. Inside the 15 yard line. 2019. Bradley, look at that big hit. Helmet comes off as Jamin Davis out of the game. I, I, I got to say, here, I don't know that I see an indicator. You know, there's no, he doesn't lower his helmet, he doesn't launch. He's just, he's running through this tackle. If anything, he hits him with a. Still in at quarterback. Bradley, one on one. This could have occurred. Bradley, incomplete, intended for Rockson with this secondary. Bradley takes off, and he's into the end zone as it actually is ruled a fumble, and it's recovered there by Bryce. Awkwardly. But I had to have been a collective holding of breath over there, a gasp even. Oof. He's way into the end zone, too. He should get credit for that touchdown. Yeah, that's easily six. 
Davis extra point will make this a 14 point game with just over a minute to go. Especially, but as a unit, they really rallied and allowed Kentucky to get back into this game in the second half after another three and out to open. Great job, held the Rockets to only 116 yards there in the second half. Toledo drops to 0 and 1, and they'll host Murray State next Saturday night. Alyssa's down there with Coach Duke.